Hi, I'm Chris Hiley, the Music Product Specialist here at Zivix. Today I'd like to show you everything that you need to know about getting the Puck, the wireless MIDI interface, connected to your Macintosh via our Z5 protocol. Let's get started. Alright, let's open this box and see what we have in here. Oop, instructions. There's my Puck. Underneath the Puck, I've got a pair of AA batteries and a MIDI cable. Leave the MIDI cable in there for now. In the back of the puck just by simply unscrewing it. I do have a barcode there, the last four digits of which I need to remember, 36AE in this case. That's the identity of my puck. We're going to come back to that later. I'm just going to add these batteries. Now, let's move the box over to the side and we'll get going here. First page of my instructions are iOS instructions. We'll come back to those in another video, but Mac connection. I need to go to get my driver for ZFi at mipuck.com slash downloads. So let's jump over there. Open up Safari. mipuck.com slash downloads. So here on mipuck.com downloads, I've got a driver. We'll go ahead and get that downloaded. So I've got my driver downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and click the installer. Continue, pretty standard installer, uh, legal. Continue, I agree, install. Don't look at my password. And you'll see once we have it installed, I actually have a set of instructions that's included here. But this same set of instructions is bundled into uh, the compressed download. So it's available uh, where you got it. To take a look, so I'm gonna just go ahead and close out. And now I'm ready to boot up my puck. When the puck boots, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi indicator kind of goes through a couple different stages. Once it goes to flashing, that's when I know that it's ready uh, for me to attach it to the Mac. So there it goes to scanning, and I will pick it from my Wi-Fi list. My Puck 36AE, that's the same serial number that was in the battery compartment. Uh, and that's how you, you'll identify your Puck if you're in a situation with multiple Pucks. In the event that um, your Puck doesn't appear here in the Wi-Fi browser, you may have to do a couple tricks. Uh, one is to turn your Wi-Fi off and then back on. Uh, sometimes that will help the Mac recognize that the puck is, is ready to attach. The other thing is that if you're using a Cat5 cable to get uh, some sort of network connection or internet from, you may need to disconnect it and then reconnect it once the puck becomes visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the puck. Once the puck is selected, I'm going to open Audio MIDI Setup. Now I have that over in my dock, but it is also available from the Go menu in the Finder in the Utilities folder. But you'll notice as soon as I launched uh, Audio MIDI Setup, MIDI Studio is open, and the puck actually went to a solid indicator, indicating that it automatically connected. With ZFi, uh, the puck is recognized by the driver, and as soon as Audio MIDI Setup is open, it connects instantly. If we want, we can double-click the active puck icon, and we can click and see some information if we want. Um, we've got some options here. I can open the configuration page. I can update firmware, but this one's up to date, so we're okay there. I can also open the Wi-Fi settings if I'm having some issue that I need to scope out. But we're good. I'm gonna reopen Logic, and now we're gonna get connected to our MIDI controller and start making some music. Since we're all connected to the Mac, I'm gonna connect the MIDI cable from my controller to the puck. I'm ready to start making some music. Now I'll make a quick change in logic to a drum sound. And I can use my 16 pad controller to play some drums. I'm just going to head and swap the MIDI cable that I had set up. Now we're ready to go. And when I'm done, we can start to go through the disconnection sequence. So when we're done with our puck session, 
What we can do is obviously I'm disconnected from my MIDI cable. I'm gonna come back over here to audio MIDI setup, double click my puck icon from the MIDI studio, and I'll select disconnect. And you notice as soon as I did that, it went back into scanning mode. And now I'm free to jump back onto whatever my Wi Fi internet connection was. And I'm ready to go. That's it, pretty easy. Now I can power down.